more to plagiarism? What is plagiarism and why we should care? It's a type of uh, scientific misconduct with the appropriate snob another person's ideas, forces, and the self supports without giving appropriate credit, including those obtained through confidential review. Without some of those other person's knowledge, we are stealing some words or uh, any sentence that is called the plagiarism. Define plagiarism. Plagiarism is the presenting the words, anyone, someone's ideas or words or images, and even the sounds or any creative expression of others as our own. Did you know the word plagiarism? And this plagiarism has come from the Latin word that is plagiarism, meaning kidnapper. So we can say that the plagiarism word is we are kidnapping someone's words or book or ideas or knowledge. How serious is the problem? So a study has been done among 4,500 students at 25 colleges and in that 72% admitted to serious cheating on writing assignments using the internet by stealing some other's work. And students, if we include all the words, ideas, uh, others' work, that we have to neglect the site. So that is, uh, if anyone included the ideas or uh, work of others, that is called as like a plagiarized someone's work. There are two types of plagiarism, one is intentional and unintentional. And as we know that intentional is purposely we are stealing someone's work and unintentional by accidentally it may be done. And in intentional copying of friend work or buying or borrowing papers and cutting and pasting blogs or just from electronic sources without documenting. And from even media borrowing without documentation. And unintentional that is accidental it will be occurring. That is careless paraphrasing or even poor documentation. And sometimes we will fail to use our own words and just we will copy and paste some other word. And sometimes as a student, or uh, uh, we may be say unwanted excuses. So the student may say, if you are asked if you are caught by addressing anyone work, and if you are caught, and they will say just that the same with this boring. And even they say that it's okay, I don't get caught. And even they may say they were so busy that they have uh, some job or they have engaged in some game or too much of folklore. And even they say that the teachers are expecting so much from them. And they will say that if I have got to get into a certain college, and they may say that it's a generalized statement like that everyone will do so that I have done. Then they may say that my parents always expect A. That is absurd. A grade so that they can plagiarize some of them. The plagiarism is a serious offense and can lead to failing grades or even suspension from the college. So the consequences are not worth the risk and sometimes it is only right to give. Because if you are studying someone more, we can't credit, give the credit to the particular student because the credit goes to the actual author. And the citing makes it possible for the readers to locate the source. And overall the cheating is an unethical behavior. And possible college consequences, is it worth the risk? So zero on the assignment, sometimes the student may feel if they are not plagiarizing the thing, they may fail in the class and they may feel uh, uh, having a lower grade and they may see uh, think that uh, the teacher may be informing the parent uh, and they may refer to the administrators and even they may be getting suspension from the school. And how to avoid plagiarism? And uh, better we can quote and cite phrases, sentences, and paragraph. You can take directly from the original source. And even you can quote and the cite statistics, charts, graph, and where you have taken the original source. You can write the citation. Is it valid enough to write the citation? And if you are paraphrasing or summarizing, 
anything from some other author, you just give a credit to the original author. Do I have to cite everything? Of course, yes. Except when you use your own words from the fact used in common language. So what makes it common language? So if you're finding some same information, so if you're referring or uh, uh, revealing anything in the internet and if you're getting same information, at least three different sources, then better stop citing that matter. So that's the word given by George Washington Moore, Wood and Pages. What's the big thing? So if I change a few words, I'm still okay. And wrong paraphrasing original ideas without documenting your source. That is a plagiarism. And even if you're borrowing the work of others as your own work, sometimes you may be considered be careful. And always make sure you are using three strategies. First one is quoting, second paraphrasing, third summarizing. So because the blend source materials in with your own, make sure your own voice is served. What is quoting? So the quoting is nothing but it's the exact words of an author. If you are writing something, it should be your own word and uh, if the quotation should be cited properly. And paraphrasing means you are putting someone else's words or ideas into your own words. So if that you can make some alternative, you can change into your own words and something else you can add in your own ideas or uh, your own words. And third one is paraphrasing. Paraphrasing is not simply rearranging or re rewording an original passage. Here you have to understand the thing and uh, you can translate in your own manner and rewrite your own ideas. So paraphrasing the thing always make sure you are giving the credit to the author. And when you take notes, include page numbers and where you have cited the source references so that you can go back to the book and you can check even the accuracy of whatever you have written so far. And never cut and paste any words or anything from any source and never steal any other work and don't make it as your own work and just change a few words from any source of your paper and uh, always stick on your own words and own contents and own ideas and own sound the own knowledge and be a plagiarist so that is the person is the plagiarist is done because of two careless and he may be too lazy too dishonest to do a good job be clean and even you can prevent plagiarism. So what you have to do? Take notes and put it in your own words and don't copy and keep track of every resource you use. Cite your resources at the end of your book. And the citing sources commonly we will be using that is uh, by me, citation maker, citation machine and the nice site and uh, the TLC that is the most commonly used for citing sources and BigP that is an online writing center and the citation maker it's an app actually it's an app and uh, citation machine is essentially a, a work cited generator that assesses information across the world and the night site as you know it's an official citation format of TLC Thank you.